Hi, I'm Cornel, and I'll be showing you how to submit RNA-seq data to the Array Express database. In this RDM byte, you will learn about the Array Express repository. We will briefly discuss the types of metadata you need to supply when submitting RNA-seq data, and we will run through an example submission based on real data. Array Express is a database hosted by the European Bioinformatics Institute that stores functional genomics data from microarray and sequencing platforms. For high throughput sequencing based experiments, the raw data is stored in the European Nucleotide Archive, while the experiment descriptions and process data are archived in Array Express. Recently, Array Express has been integrated in the new BioStudies database to accommodate experiments that involve multiple technologies assaying different biological modalities, such as epigenetics, metabolomics, and RNA and protein expression. For more information on the different high throughput sequencing read databases and how they relate to each other, please view the RDM byte titled High Throughput Sequencing Data Repositories. You can find the link in the description. It is also possible to directly submit your raw data to the ENA database. You can learn how to do this by viewing the RDM byte RNA-Seq Data Submission ENA. Again, you can find the link in the description. What metadata will we need to provide when submitting RNA-Seq data to ArrayExpress? The short answer is everything a user needs for the dataset to make sense and be reproducible without referring to an associated paper. To outline a more formal set of rules to which RNA-seq metadata needs to adhere, the minimal information about a high-throughput nucleotide sequencing experiment, or MinSeq guidelines, were introduced in 2008 as a logical extension of the guidelines to next-generation sequencing technologies used for transcriptome analysis. We have covered the MinSeq guidelines in a separate RDM byte titled RNA-seq MinSeq. You can find the link in the description. This RDM byte uses a real-life dataset to illustrate what metadata you need to provide when submitting your RNA-seq data. We will be using the same example dataset in this RDM byte to illustrate the submission procedure. In addition to the metadata, you of course also need to have your actual data files ready. The files you need to provide are the unprocessed data files, typically cell files for microarrays, and FASTQ files for RNA-seq data. You can also submit process data files, for example, BAM files, which are alignment files, or any other process data that relates to your samples in tab delimited format. You can look up which file formats are accepted by ArrayExpress by following the links at the bottom of the slide. Let's navigate to the ArrayExpress website, which you will find at ebi.ac.uk forward slash biostudies forward slash array express. To start a new submission, click the submit an experiment button. This will bring you to the annotaire site where you will perform the actual submission. Go ahead and log in, or if you don't have a login yet, you can create one. Once you have logged in, the submission form will be displayed. Click on the create button to start. A pop-up will show where you can indicate the type of experiment you wish to submit. In our example, the technology is high throughput sequencing and the material is animal tissue. When you click next, a new window will appear where you can identify the experimental design. In our example, we compare the effects of different diets, so we select stimulus or stress design. Indicate how many samples you will be submitting. One sample is one replicate. In our example, we have three experimental conditions and four replicates per condition so we will be submitting 12 samples. You now end up with a form with different tabs that all need to be completed. Under general information, provide a title, a description, the experiment type, design, the date of the experiment and date of release if you want to embargo the data before publication. Under contacts, complete your contact information. The next tab allows you to add attributes and experimental variables to your samples. To do this, click Add Sample Attributes. This will bring up a window that allows you to add or remove attributes relevant for your samples. Be as complete as possible. For example, we will add diet as an experimental variable. 
pressing OK will generate a table with your chosen attributes, which you can now populate for all samples. Note that in our example, all attributes are the same for all samples, but the experimental variable, diet, is different. On the next tab, we will be providing information about the actual sequencing libraries. Please provide as much information as possible. Next, we need to describe the protocols used to produce the data. Click the Add Protocol button. A pop-up will appear with fields for you to complete. Once you have done that, you can now assign protocols to your samples. Again, in our example, most protocols are shared between all samples. However, we have three different feeding protocols that are different for the controls, the sugar-starved flies and the fully-starved flies. By clicking the Assign button, you can indicate which protocol belongs to which sample. Now we have provided all the metadata relating to our samples. It is now time to upload our files. You can just drag them to the right-hand side of the submission form and they will be automatically uploaded. Upload your read files and all the processed data files that relate to these samples. For large files, you may be asked to transfer data files via the FTP command line. Instructions on how to do this are given within the tools interface. Lastly, we need to link each read file to the correct sample. Click on the Add File Assignment column button and a pop-up screen will appear. Here you can indicate how many raw read files per sample you have uploaded. In our example, we have paired reads, so we have two read files per sample. We also have one process data file per sample. When you click Create, the different columns will be generated and you can link the samples to the corresponding read and process data files. You are now all set for submitting your data. First, click the Validate button. This will automatically check if all fields have been properly completed. Hopefully, you will get a message at the bottom of the page saying that the validation is successful. If the validation is not successful, you will find a list of problems you need to address before submission. When the validation is completed, you can now submit your data. That concludes our RDM byte on how to submit RNA-seq data to ArrayExpress. Please take a look at the links associated with this video and links to additional resources for more information as well as other RDM bytes in this series.